Hey guys, uh, just uh, got the picture off of the Motion RC website and was able to put it on my desktop. Wasn't sure how it turned out blowing up that big, but they must have used a pretty good camera on the thing. It, uh, it looks really nice. Uh, even blown up like this, you can see like any of the imperfections. I can't wait to get this thing. It's supposed to be here today. Any time now, to tell you the truth, I mean, it's already 3.30. The mail is usually here by now and I haven't heard the truck and the dogs haven't started barking yet, so just waiting. Anyway, this thing looks pretty cool. Um, horrible, horrible day yesterday. After oh my gosh, I mean, just eh, you know, it was one of those gut feeling days too when when I really shouldn't have just gone, just shouldn't have gone flying, but the weather was so perfect. Uh, but lo and behold, maybe I should have just brought a couple of planes and then I could have only crashed two and ooh, gone home anyway. But no, I had to bring, uh, what did I bring? I brought six airplanes. Uh, only one came home in, in, in one piece. So uh, there's a video posted, should be just about now. It, actually, by the time you see this, it'll be posted. So uh, check it out. Anyway, just waiting for uh, a knock on the door and uh, we should be back shortly with a uh, unboxing. Hold tight. Pretty plain, man. I can't wait to see this thing. Our mail to the nice nice mail lady I've got here she even brings me my my mail and, and any little packages if I've got something extra that is so cool She's such a sweet mail kind of screwed up on this one uh, this one was ordered I think uh, well it was ordered Friday they shipped it like immediately at motion did motion RC did and uh, uh, they sent it to Cary post office which is right next door to McHenry and they sent it to Palatine, and Palatine turned around and sent it to the Chicago Hub over the weekend. And by the way, guys, this thing was marked, marked, priority mail, priority mail, one day, one day, priority mail. That means it was supposed to have been delivered on Saturday. But they sent it to Chicago for the week, weekend. So anyway, it's Monday now. You know what? In all, uh, the way things turned out yesterday with yesterday's flying, uh, man, this is a heavy sucker. This is going to be a big plane, I think, guys. The box is even heavy. Um, with the way things turned out yesterday flying, uh, if I'd have gotten this thing on Saturday, man, I'd have been up all night building it, and I'd have probably flown it yesterday, and chances are with the... Issues going on with this this radio, um, you know, I might have crashed it. So I already contacted Horizon Hobby this morning, and they were unaware of any any major problems. Uh, they said this is a pretty rock solid radio. If this is the first issue they've heard of it, but please send it in, and by all means, they'd take care of it. So uh, that's already underway. So good deal there. Uh, caught the UPS guy earlier. Got a new uh, another set of the. I think I got their last set because I went right back online to see if I could back up a uh, add, add to my order, and they were out, <laughs> and like immediately within five ten minutes. So they're on back order, but man, it must be a moving item. I tell you, I love those lights. Speed my like my fourth set. So anyway, we're gonna have an unboxing here, guys, of the uh, the flight line. Where is it? Uh, flight line P thirty eight. I got the silver one, the Pacific silver. So. Uh, can't wait. Hold tight and uh, let me get some, some decent lighting in here and clear off the table and, and we'll get going on this.
Howdy pilots. Well, as promised, it, it took a little longer trip to get here. Motion RC is nice enough. I mean, you know, I just I just did the standard shipping, of course. Uh, but they were nice enough, and, and they know I'm right next door too. So, but they did ship it priority mail one day, and that's just to be nice, you know. Uh, great guys. That, that, that's so cool. But post office decided it was a better idea to go from uh, from the town next to McHenry. Clean over to Palatine, all the way down to Chicago. Let it sit in Chicago for the weekend, and send it back to Palatine so that Palatine could send it back to McHenry, and it showed up today. So uh, let's take a look at this thing here. I've already kind of had a little bit of a video clip going, uh, just little entertainment purposes and stuff like that, because I've been waiting all day for this thing, man. I'm, I swear, mail running late. And, I mean, I got jobs done and everything else on the sides here. So uh, you guys have probably been waiting long enough for this thing to see this thing too. So I'm going to go ahead and just get going at it. Uh, it's supposed to be an awesome plane, guys. It's supposed to be an awesome plane. I'm lucky I didn't get it uh, Saturday. Probably I think I, I mentioned that. But you know, it, it, as unlucky as I was on Mother's Day, um, and I'd have gotten this on Saturday. Knowing me, I'd stayed up probably most of the night. I put it together and everything. I'd have wanted to fly it on Sunday, and the way my luck went on Sunday, well, maybe this was a, maybe this was all for a good reason. <laughs> and I found out I got a problem with the radio, and I mentioned I think before uh, uh, they're going to take care of that too. Um, yeah, I always get a nice thank you note. I always get a nice thank you note from the Motion RC guys. So let's get this thing all out of here. Now, this uh, is interesting. Flight Line is a brand new line. It's made by, by Freewing, uh, but it's exclusively made for uh, Motion RC. And that's because Motion RC had a lot to do with the design and the development of it. Uh, they had their own ideas of what they wanted, and, and they, pretty much, they pretty much designed the plane. Uh, and then Freewing built it for them. So uh, this is Motion RC's plane, guys. It's exclusive. You cannot buy this from from uh, any other any other source out there other than uh, you know privateers or something like that. Get that stuff out of the way. And as usual, I'm positive sure there's going to be some tape on this. There we go. Yeah. There. Pardon my back here, guys. Guys and gals, I should say. Now I'm actually starting to get some of the female population out there. I noticed on my uh, channel, you know, you go on the analytics and it tells you what the population is. And uh, I've got 4.5% female uh, out there. Way to go, ladies. Keep it up. You know, there's some good female pilots out there. Uh, I've seen a couple, couple gals fly that aren't bad. So, you know, can't discount the girls, guys. Besides, they're nice, they're, they're fun to take along and, and you know. Well, let's get this thing open. Did I manage this one? Yeah, I sure did. I could have swore I cut this one. What? Cut it now. Lack of drum roll. Willie, wag your tail. And one time you're not going to cooperate. Okay. Set this up over here for a second. I think it'll stay. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. I kind of put a little thing up here back here so I could kind of prop this up. And uh, I don't know that that's going to work or not. Uh, just like Freewing product, uh, packaged real well, it appears. Uh, everything individually packaged, taped in, uh, whole nine yards, you know, form fit. Uh, again, this thing would have to be damaged in China or, you know, hit with a fork, forklift or run over by. Uh, a whole big set of decals, guys. They're supposed to be, like, I think four or five different sets, so you could do your own 
uh, uh, put your own decals on the front of it. The rest of them I'm pretty sure are standard, but uh, the front of the plane you can you can dress it yourself. So let's take this thing apart, gently, piece by piece, and uh, see what we've got. I'm going to start setting things over here carefully. I've nicely cleaned off my my tabletop over here. Make use of that, I guess. Let's hold that back. All right, we've got a uh, our instruction manual. This one's kind of thick. Ordinarily, they're not quite this thick. Like 47 pages thick. It's all, well, it's not all English at least, thank goodness. Oh, they got a few languages in here. How much is English here? Uh, we've got 13, 14, 14 pages in English. At least they didn't leave it at 13, huh? Ooh. So anyway, again, as just like a free wing, it, it looks like it's got all the, the rates and the, uh, all the measurements and everything that you need, your CG, uh, all the stuff that is, is is if you were building it, you know, as a as a kit. Uh, this is a plug and play, so I'm hoping this goes together as easily as I've seen on the video. Okay, here's the main section. Looks very nice. All hinges in place, guys, and uh, balls. Uh, uh, the ball ends there for the clevises. It's the, instead of clevises, they've, they've got the ball and socket for the uh, control horns. And it looks real solid, guys. Pretty beefy, too. This thing's got some weight to it, just this little piece. And I don't see a whole lot of guts, so it must have some, some real added strength to it. I see an awful lot of hard points on it. So, yeah, this, it probably has to be pretty darn beefy. And, uh, and I see metal stays and stuff going through the middle of it, too. There's a there's a solid solid looks like a solid big square uh, aluminum spar that's going through this and it's installed. That's biggie. And let's see, we've got uh, you know the associated little parts. It looks like machine gun things, uh, fire propellers and stuff in this little pouch here, this little bag. And um, wires and, and tool kits. It looks like the the controller here for the. Uh, it looks like the controller for pretty much everything. Flaps, ailerons. Wow. It's an actually flight a flight control board, guys. Guys and gals. <laughs> cool. I want to keep this stuff in here so I don't lose this, and uh, it'll stay safe. In the meantime, we'll just kind of pop a few things. In the meantime, we'll just kind of pop a few things out right here. One of these jobs again. I snuck some more tape in on me. <laughs> that makes sense. Got to, got to take down the mid midsection or things going to fall apart on you. You open it. Very nice packaging here, guys. Uh, you know, I'll just take these out so I don't so I don't drop them, and uh, I'll start setting these things over here for for now. And then I'll lay it out again so that you guys can see it when we get the pieces out of this box. If I ever get down to the bottom nitty gritty, All right, it looks like um, I'm guessing stabs stab ends probably for for back here. And uh, oh, this, yeah, this will work. Okay, up here we've got our, our canopy. I love the canopy part. Let's check this out. 
Let's see what kind of job they did on our canopy, huh? It's all sealed, so I, I don't necessarily have to open it. Uh, pretty much all green here, guys. It's a... Uh, Got a nice looking pilot and stuff. It's got instrumentation on the dash, uh, but plenty of opportunity and and dummy little instrument and, and flight packages back here that you could probably paint and make look like anything you want: radio, transmitter, receiver, uh, you know, you name it. And then this would be a, a ideal for like putting a little fire extinguisher in there, you know, any of the little things. Sometimes you can find those cute little toys in the uh, gumball machines. And uh, uh, you'll see something like a cheeseburger. Well, why not? Put, put a half-bit cheeseburger, a little tiny toy, and right there next to the pilot. You know, a little realism. I'm sure they ate while they were flying. So uh, anyway, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the canopy, our stabs. And what is this? A big bomb. Or drop thing. That's got to be a drop tank. The picture doesn't show a drop tank. That's interesting. Um, cool looking spinners. Neat looking spinners, guys. I thought at first, you know, but if you look at the picture on Motion RC, they almost look like they are chrome or, or you know, uh, stainless or, or shiny, metallic at least, chrome. But, uh, you know, they're just painted. They're just painted. But uh, still very nice. Still very nice. And one more thing in this thing. Oh yeah, here we go. Got the glue. Anything else hiding? Ah, I'm not sure what this is. Uh oh. Okay, these are going to be magnetic or or uh, uh, little mounts for. Man, I just don't know this plane well enough. But they're foam and they're wrapped carefully, so I'll be careful with them. And and they go somewhere on this thing. Yeah, we're safe to empty this. Okay. Oh, no, not yet. And looks like I have magnetic hard points here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, this one's safe. I can 86 this one. And now we can focus on the big box. The big box. Let's start with a wing here. So far, I don't see any problems with anything, guys. The uh, the finish is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, in all honesty, if you get a look at this, um, you can hardly tell it's foam. They've really put a good, good, good layer of paint on there. Nice thickness. It feels kind of cool too. And the wings come with the spars installed, screw on, bolt on. This wing has uh, same as everything else, all nice and tight, tight hinges, hinges installed, guys, and all the control surfaces have the uh, have the ball, uh, the little brass balls on the end of the control horns there. All servos are in place. I haven't tested anything, obviously, but uh, you know that'll be some of the first things that I do. So uh, the wing there looks very, very nice. Uh, marker lights in the wings, guys. Marker lights in the wings, too. Both sides. And a, uh, well, it looks like, looks like this wing has a, uh, a leading light, too. So that you'll be able to tell right from left, uh, what, you know, should it be inverse, inverted coming at you or not. Interesting, very nice. And I'm going to lay that back out here very carefully. And what have we got here? This is a, this is big. <laughs> it's like it's got two fuselages. All right, built in retract doors. And all the wiring and, and, and stuff attached. Um, it looks like it's a very very good shape. 
again, uh, the paint work, the paint job on this is just phenomenal. This is going to be an absolutely gorgeous plane when I get it together. Um, a little little wrinkle here, but you know, it's again, it's they're, they're foam planes. You're not going to get them 110 percent perfect, but this is about as close as it gets on this. All the surfaces look good, tight, tight hinges. Again, nice bald hinge there. Bald, uh, uh, bald buttocks. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This I will put back in the. Uh, this I am going to put back in here for now. Let's take a look. This, this must be the. All right, this would be the middle section. And again, it looks very nice. Looks to be in good shape. I will definitely be doing a build on this one, guys. Uh, oh, landing lights under here, I guess, too, huh? Sweet. That's kind of neat. That's going to look interesting. I haven't seen too many videos of this plane because it's so new out there. There's uh, only a number of flyers that I know that have it. Uh, Chris Callahan, he, he's one guy out there that's got it. Um, there's a few guys that have this plane now, but uh, you have to kind of hunt for the videos a little bit. They're, they're not a whole lot of them. Motion RC, of course, they've got some excellent, excellent new videos at this point in both colors. Uh, also, come, this plane also comes in green. I almost got the green. I almost opted for the green, and they sold out of the green first. Uh, again, guys, this uh, this fuselage. Here, this one I can pull out. Cool. Very nice. You got some weight to them. Got some weight to them. But uh, nice tight brushless motor. If you look at the front of the plane, or part of the plane here. Again, all the wiring and stuff installed. All the tags are on it. And pinched pretty much up right up to the wires. I know Motion was very adamant uh, with Freewing about getting this plane you know, getting it right, putting it together correctly so that it would be, um, you know, reliable and, and and basically their flagship. So uh, this is this is definitely one of their premier planes, guys. Looking good so far. We will keep this in plastic because I don't even want to take a chance on hurting this thing until my until my luck starts changing a little bit. We'll get that radio straightened out. I, I the, the the one plane that crashed uh, yesterday was uh, was the plane's fault. The aileron did let go, or the elevator did let go. Uh, one of the hinges, probably from the first crash, and I overlooked it. Although I I, I doubt it because I think I checked everything. But in any case, it, it the, the only thing I could find out on that one was that the uh, uh, the settings had switched. Uh, uh, in my, I, I had lost my, my expos, or uh, uh, I should say my, my throw went to 100%. I still had some expo in there, but it took it through uh, the elevators back to 100%. They were set at 70. Um, or I'm sorry, uh, they were set at 50 with a 30% expo. Well, they went back up 100%, which would made it crazy anyway. But, uh, um, Regardless, we got that we got that part resolved. Let's get back to this plane here, and uh, uh, enough of the bad luck. The radio kind of messed up a little bit. They're going to take care of that. The V tail doesn't work at all on that six I. You know, I don't even know if I would trust it again when they send me a new one. This is in pretty good shape, guys. I like this so far. I think it's going to be a really really neat plane. Cannot wait to get it together and uh, see what it looks like. I'm going to wait till I'm comfortable to fly this one. It's you know it's not that it's that pricey of a plane. It's not that it's that expensive of a plane. Uh, at 349, it's about average for for a nice plane like this for motion. Actually, I think it's a pretty decent price for for a, a plane this nice. I've paid more uh, for less. I have and. Uh, a couple of times I've been I was happy to pay more for less. 
But uh, this is uh, this is looking really good so far. Pop that back in the box. I think the only thing I missed here was the uh, was the rear rear stab elevator. Looks very nice again. Uh, yeah, it's got a little little bump lay there, but that's that's the bottom side. The top side, the finished side, looks gorgeous. Uh, you know, who's going to see this down here? The important thing is, is everything works, and you know, hinges is installed. 17 gram metal gear uh, hinge back here, again with the balls, and uh, man, they're they got the one, two, three, four. Four good sized hinges on this thing, and it's tight. And they left the foam part of the hinge as well. So you've got that extra little bit for uh, to be intact. Um, other than that, it looks like it slides in pop, pop, pop. Got a little wire here for the servo. This is going to probably be a lot easier to, to put together here, guys, than, uh, than it looks. Ah, I was wondering why I only saw one of those before. There's the other one. So I don't see them on the picture, but that's got to go for, uh, what does that look like to you guys? That's got to be bombs, or, or that's got to hang from the wings, right? So that would be an option. So you got drop tanks for the wings. I, I haven't seen them on the planes. Uh, so it'll be interesting what those look like. But that is what these, uh, this fell out of the other box, and, and I can see the magnetic hard points in, you know, in here that, uh, yep. That's what they are. Alrighty. Well, that's the unboxing of uh, Motion RC's exclusive, made by Freewing, designed by Motion RC. And this is not a commercial, guys. I do not work for Motion RC, but I really am kind of impressed with what they've done here. Um, they're really getting to be up there. They're, 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 as far as I'm concerned, they are the, they are the hobby king of the United States. So, uh, and they've got the best best customer service of anybody I've ever, ever dealt with. And I've dealt with a lot of them. Uh, this is going to be an awesome plan, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I had to keep you so long, but uh, I did try to entertain you a little bit in the beginning. Okay, you guys take care and uh, have a good week. Uh, maybe we'll see you next weekend. Maybe I'll have this done by then. Uh, I do have another plane, another unboxing coming this week. Uh, it's going to be the um, the LX model uh, YF23 dual 70 millimeter jet stealth jet. It's the one that lost against the F22 Raptor. Uh, they only made 20. Uh, they only made two of them uh, in, ever. So there's only two in production. They're both in museums. So they're not being used. But uh, supposedly they were like two and a half or three times the, the cost of the F22. Faster, stealthier, but just cost way too much. So they, you know, government opted with uh, F-22, which is an awesome plane too. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get this together. You guys get to see the speed. Uh, well, probably, obviously, a speed build. Uh, we'll throw a little music to it. I'll mix up something different this time. And uh, oh, I know what else I forgot. Guess what else this thing is going to get? <laughs> this plane is going to look so awesome. I might, I might not even want to. Uh, it might just look good in the, on the wall somewhere too, you know, and maybe so it'll stay looking good forever. You know I'll have to fly it. All right, thanks guys. Have a good one. Catch you later. See you at the field. This time maybe I'll have a little bit better luck and uh, keep them in the air a little longer, huh? Give me, wish me luck, guys. Bye bye.